Hello, I'm Imogen Heath. I'm a filmmaker living in Berlin. Uh, I work primarily with analog uh, 16mm film stock. And the film that I'm showing in the Exposed Film Festival is called Sexual Chemistry. I usually show it as an installation piece, uh, and it's a study of desire. And I guess uh, the catalyst for desire to turn into action. Um. Yeah, so this is not your first movie. Um, what have you been working on before? Um, I have a film collective here called Now Moment Now. Mm -hmm. And we're a queer film collective, so we really work to support other artists making work. And um, so it's not only uh, like queer filmmakers, but I guess a queer filmmaking process. So we're working against the mainstream, I guess, and mm -hmm. working in an altern alternative economy. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, other films. So, uh, so I work in different roles. Mm -hmm. uh, often I'll work as a cinematographer on a project and uh, potentially also producing that project. Um, and then it means that I work with lots of different artists and I actually shoot a lot of music videos also. Mm -hmm. um, so I've worked, uh, I've shot a music video for Crime and Alexander Geist from the UK mm -hmm. and for Planning to Rock. And this movie has already been screened. How was the reaction of the people? How did the audience react? People really love watching this film. I think um, it's enjoyable watching people make out. It's definitely like one of my favorite things to do is watch people kiss. Um, people often, you know, they say, oh, I wish it went for longer or, yeah, so I think there is, mm -hmm. yeah, people really enjoy watching it. Well, it's a very sensual movie, I would say. And I was wondering, what, would you say it's sort of a study about kissing? Because I had the feeling that it was like a soci sociology study about people making out. Um, the making out is, kind of um, very much on the surface for me. It's actually uh, uh, very much about, I think, what is the catalyst for one to act on desire for me. Um, and that kind of change for me is really important also in the film material, like working with analog film, and I often like hand process the film myself. So that change also in the film chemistry and the film material as it goes through the different processes. And it's also actually, um, I guess a documentation of my queer community. So I hold these kissing parties in my bedroom, invite people over to make out. Um, so I, as I have these different parties and as the like film project grows, um, it's kind of document, documenting different times and um, yeah, the like people in my life who come and go, friendships that you know are there for a moment, friendships that are there for a long time. Um, so. So for you, it's also a very personal movie then? Yeah, yes. And that was also the idea how you got there with these kissing parties that you thought, oh, this would be really nice to have a movie on? Or um, It was always a f film installation idea. Um, initially, it wasn't so much about documenting and con continuing the project. Um, that's just kind of happened. Um, I was more interested in uh, kind of studying that like moment when desire turns into an action. Mm. So that's what I was initially interested in. Mm. And why did you decide to have two screens? Why, well, why this decision? I think for me because um, that desire and lust for something when you really want something and, um, and when you have that kind of uh, when your sex sexuality and your desire changes, um, that can be quite overwhelming. Um, and so in a way I felt like two, having two images, I guess is like double whammy. <laughs> 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 More potent maybe, or and also, uh, so they were all filmed twice. So I guess it's also a multiplicity of the single moment also. Mm -hmm. And, um you already said that it's a queer movie. Why, why would you say is it queer? What's the queerness in the movie? Hmm, I guess for me, it's a celebration of difference. It's really like celebrating 
different people making out, not only like lovers or partners, but also friends and yeah, and strangers. So for me, it's just celebrating that difference. Mm -hmm. The movie will be screened here at the Exposed Film Festival. What do you expect from the audience? How do you think will they react here at this festival? Oh, I hope they're going to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I'll find out in the q and I guess. <laughs> All right, well, I wish you a lot of fun at the festival and with the Q&A. And thank you very much for the interview. Thank you for having me. <laughs>